Tickets, passports? Yep, all set. You checked on Lisa? I thought we could do it on the way over. Great. Oh, I've dropped my ear, mate. What are you doing? Come on, we've got a party to go to on a plane ticket. Sleep, these were the first present you ever bought for me. Yeah, they won't be the last, I promise you. Mm. Oi. What? Steve. Happy anniversary. Mm. Oh, I'm in such a state. I've forgotten half the baby stuff. You know, nappies, wipes. Then you'd better go and pick Louise up. Yeah, I'll, I'll get over there now. Well, look, why don't I go and then you two can talk? No, no, it's better if it's me. <laughs> don't know why you let him have her in the first place. Pauline, it's her last day with him. Yeah, I know. And what about us? I thought we were supposed to be her family. Mark's going to spend every day with her for the next 18 years. Look, this is Phil's last chance. You don't even know it. Yeah, she oh, is. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Look at those little big cheeks. Yeah, now she has definitely got the Mitchell good look. Wait, wait, wait. Have a Jamie's do, Phil? No, no. I thought it was Stephen Mills. Oh, well, boss, you don't mind me nipping over there later, do you? Honey, there's a stack of free booze on her. If you want to go to a party, you do it in your own time. Trace, any calls? No. And where's Sam? She's upstairs. This is humiliating. Don't be silly. Well, it is. We're getting engaged and Steve's paying for it, organising it. Why didn't someone tell us it was going to be a joint do? Jay, it's all right. We've got our friends and family coming, haven't we? Like who? Jim, Phil. There's no one. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Sam? Sam? You hear me? I've been calling you. Sorry. I said you covered a bar. Yeah, all right, Phil. You know, I've got fingers on too. Mm -hmm. You feel like a servant sometimes. Let's do this, do that. I feel like a slave. Got you. There Stay you go. Sir. So. A message from a bloke called Graham. Called while you're out. Sounded like a real weirdo. You, uh. You're gonna go down to the bar? No, Phil. I'm going to be 20. I'm going to the party. When are you gonna get it in your thick head, eh? You're not going anywhere near that place. Don't worry, she'll be here. Yeah, well, she better be. Look, we're gonna pop over to the club for a couple of drinks, all right? Then I'm gonna bring the car around, we pack our bags and we go. How long till you leave for the airport? An hour. Come on. See ya. Did you hear that? She's gonna be gone in an hour. You haven't even told her yet. The longer I leave it, the easier it's gonna be. For who? So what's the rush? No rush. I just want to get home. Listen, I'm, uh... I'm sorry about it, sir. The whole thing was my fault, but... No, I do appreciate you letting me see her. It's all right, forget it. But I was wondering, uh, maybe I can see her tomorrow, yeah? in the morning, yeah? Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's great. Let's not walk you over. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I just need the car seat. Well, you're going to the party, isn't you? So? So you won't need the car seat, will you? Well, I'll need it tomorrow. But I'm having the first thing. Bill, right? I need it now. What's wrong? Nothing, I, I just want to get home. Okay. <laughs> see you tomorrow. I'll see Uh, look, you go inside. I just want a quick word with Beth. What, are my secrets? No, I ain't got any secrets from here, darling, I promise. Mm -hmm. See you in there. Mm -hmm. You're late. I'm sorry, mate. I got held up. So you got it? It's right here, yeah. Yeah, well, don't get it out in the street, eh? Let's go over your gate. Well, Steve, there's one tiny problem, mate. What? It's not all there. Well, I tell you, you said to me, you can have it last I know I was going to get the rest this morning, but everyone zipped up their pockets. How much are you down? Five grand. I told you you'd have it all by today, didn't you? It's I? not that easy. Yeah, well, let me make it easy for you, eh? If you can't stump up a full 200 grand in one hour, the deal's off. Steve! No, one hour, mate. That's all you've got. Great. What's this? Friendly little reminder, is it? Yeah. I'm not picking up the money till later. No. Five o'clock we agreed, didn't we? Yeah. I'll see you then. Man.
Well. Are you trying to embarrass me? Oh, yeah. I told you. I just felt so guilty. He's put all this stuff for Louise and he kept going on about really wanting to make an effort. Like he did yesterday? He said he was sorry about that. Oh, well, that's just fine. Why not take him along too? You've been drinking? Well, I've had a drop. Is something going on? I'll leave you to it. Lead me to what? Mark! I'm not coming. Just keep stum, yeah? Because if Phil finds out on here, he's going to kill me. There you go. What? It's typical, isn't it? Laying a bit of gravel, the vermin come crawling out of woodwork. You're down an earring, love. Going for a one of packs. That's just cruel. <laughs> so you made it through the year then? It's quite an achievement. Yep. Yeah. Didn't raise a sweat. It's not why I had. You've never really liked me, have you? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Bill. It's a bit like keeping a pet rat, you know? You either feed it or you kill it. Fine, fine. Well, I ain't staying where I ain't wanted. Good. I'll see you. What's happening? Babe, I've left that earring behind. I know you left on the mantelpiece. Oh, yeah. Mwah. See you later. See you later. Do us a pint, will you, mate? I'm sorry, but I can't stay in that busy stuff. Makes me think of weddings. Hiya. You want to fill me up? So you just decided for me? Lisa. I'm HIV. I can't get a visa. Don't I even get a say in this? What's to say? You're going in 40 minutes. Mark, you've told me at the last minute. I can't just walk out. Look, you wanted to go, you're going. Yeah, with you. With me, without me. I can't just leave you. Well, then stay then. If that's what you want, it's up to you. I'm all packed. We've got a place to live. In my head, I'm already there. Right, well, that's that then. Mark, you've given me no time. We need to talk about this. Make the right decision. What's to decide? Let go, you go. Just get it over with. <gasps> Sam, what are you doing? Where the place is full of people. Come on, Steve, let's just do it on the desk. I'd love to, really, all right? But it's not the time of the place, is it? Oh, God, I'm fed up with this. I just want you all to myself. You're going to, all right, tonight. Oh, look, when are you going to tell that stupid cow? As soon as we get back. No, oh, tell her now. Oh, oh, come on, it's my anniversary. So? I mean, she's got to know sometime. She's so snotty looking down her nose at me. I don't want to lie anymore, Steve. I, I want to tell Phil. I want to watch his face. You, you can do, all right? But not today. Yeah? Well, I'm a very impatient girl, so... Hey, 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 look. All this stuff. You know, it's just the front. You know when I'm talking about Mel, you know what I'm really doing? I'm thinking about you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Cross my heart. I think I'm falling in love with you. Oh, Steve. So why don't you go home, right? And pack your bags. They're already packed out. Right. And I'm going to see you at the tube station at 3 30, remember? Mm. Not a word to anyone. Oh. Marcus is not going to drop the charges, trust me. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. I don't think it's going to be around much longer. Yeah. Right, I think I'll have a pint. What would you like, my injured friend? Orange juice? It's a bit quiet here, isn't it? Well, no wonder. All at the party, aren't they? Free food and booze, a veritable paradise. We should go over there ourselves. Yeah, I'm going to the loo. <laughs> in fact, you can make it a double whiskey and a branded chaser. <laughs> Turn the music down for me. We can have a little bit quiet here, please. Please. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to make a great big speech, but I do want to say a few words, you know. Well, well me and Mel, it's, uh, it's been a rocky first year, to say the least. You know, but it's over now. It's in the past. You know, we made a fresh start. We're together, and we're going to stay together. So I want to propose a toast, if you don't mind, to the woman I love with all my heart. My beautiful wife, Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> There's some way around it, some legal thing. Yeah, maybe. But the point is, we're meant to be flying out of here in a few hours and he's not coming. All right, all right, don't panic. How can I not? This was such a big decision for me and now it's all coming apart. Well, what if Steve changed the flights and we all went tomorrow or something? That would give you time to talk to Mark, look into it and, and decide what you want. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, it's got to be. Now, go and find Mark and I'll sort things out with Steve, OK? OK, thanks. 
thought we said five o'clock. I know. I just fancied a bit of a knees up. Yeah, well, this is a private party. Right, lavish too. Champagne on tap. Just hope you're not using our money to pay for it. Excuse me, Steve, have you got me here? Yeah, uh, darling, you remember Graham, don't you? Yeah, nice to see you again. You checking the place out? I'm sorry? Come on. I'll be back in a sec. Check on Mitchell. She's talking to Mel. She should be here. If she's going, she should be here now. Mum, why don't you leave us for a bit? I'll get Louise changed. No. No, I'm not leaving you on your own. Mum, please. I want to spend a bit of time with her. This could be my last chance. Mark. Why don't you ask Lisa to stay here with you? Tell her you need her. No. No, it's got to come from her. She loves me. She won't set her foot outside that door. We can't just drag her off to the airport. And what's going to change in a couple of days, eh? If Mark can't get in, he can't get in. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, then she might stay. She can't, though. She's decided. Look, she knows exactly what's going to happen if she stays here. Phil's going to be all over her. You take your kid, darling, I promise you that. Well, can't you move the flight till Sunday? That way you should give her time to come to her senses and make a proper decision. I can't. They won't let me. But you already have. Yeah, they let you do it once, you know, but after that you have to pay some ridiculous surcharge. Well, fine, let's pay it. I can't. Why not? Because you want me past five o'clock. I'm finished. <laughs> Graham just thought I should pop in. Let's see how you are. Hell, oh, fine. No second thoughts. He's had his chance. Right. Well, if I was you, I'd stick behind this bar after five. Don't want you in the frame, do we? What are you worried about me? I'm worried about your alibi. Now stay here. Keep your nose clean. Hey. Don't mess it up. Right, I'm off home. I'll see you in the E20 later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Hello, Terry. Terry? What? How are you? Wonderful. I came to visit you at the hospital last Tuesday. Why wouldn't you see me? Because I needed a break from your lying, stinking little face. OK? <laughs> Problem? No. It's just a dirty old man who can't keep his hands to himself. Yeah, all right, I ripped him off. But they did exactly the same thing to me a few years before. You did an armed robbery, Steve. I had no choice. You burnt my club then, right? You wiped me out. What? So it's my fault, is oh, it? Oh, I'm not saying that. You know, but you've got to understand, you know, this was a one-off. It was a quick way for me to get back on Steve, my feet again. Steve, you are supposed to be a businessman. Yeah. Competing against two. Another load of dodgy villains. You know, you had to think them before they had to think you. For that, darling, you need money. Let's look around you. Who would you rather be, eh? That load of losers out there scratching around in the dirt all week, or would you rather be me? I'd rather be normal. And what's that? Lisa? Laura? Pauline Fowler? Is that what you want? You could have got done! Yeah, but I didn't, did I? I would have got away with it if it weren't for Phil grassing me up. Phil? Yeah. Now they want their money and they want it by five o'clock. Right, pay it! We need that money! America don't come cheap. We go to America with no capital, right? We're going to be on the streets before you know no, it. If you want a fresh start, then, then pay them off. I'm done with it. It's too late! Even if I did, it wouldn't make any difference. Why? What would you mean? Because they're gonna kill me! Well, sorted. Where's Owen? Good question. Did they actually say that? Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. I know I'm too well. Too dangerous leaving me around. Well, who are these people? They're outside. In the club? Graham. That little puff in the jumper? Oh, darling, we're not in the school playground here. You no, know, it's not about whether I can beat him up or not. It's about whether he's got a bottle to pull the trigger. What, he has? Yeah, and he'd enjoy it as well. Stick a shotgun in my stomach, turn him on. What are we going to do? We get Lisa and we get out of no, here. She won't come. She needs time. Phil will break her, darling. He won't stop until he's got that kid. I Are you me. worried about Lisa or do you just want to finish Phil, eh? <sighs> we ain't got time for this. No, thing. is that what this is about? It's not us going away and starting a, a fresh new life. It's about you running out on your dodgy pals and screwing Phil. No, this is about you and me. You know, getting out of this stinking dump. Getting a second chance on life. And how are you going to get that? Yet again, you've been lying to me. <sighs> you have to protect you. The only thing I need protecting from is you. Look, we've messed things up here, right? Well, let's start again. We've got a whole new life ahead of us. Doing what? Robbing banks? Oh, don't be silly. 
You know, we can run a club, we can run a bar, we can do anything. You know, we can make a new life for ourselves. Even have a baby. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. You know exactly who I am. You know exactly what I do. If you weren't okay with that in the first place, you would never have married me. That, that's not true. I mean, who's to say how far you'd really go when it came down to it, eh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't stoop down to Phil Mitchell's level. I'm not sick. You know, you hit me, I hit your back. You know where you stand. It's a line I won't cross. And how do I know? How do I know that? You lie to me, you always lie. Oh, yeah, what about you, eh? Well, I'll tell you something. Yours are a lot worse, you know why? Because you lie to yourself. I mean, who are you, darling, eh? Mel stands behind a bar in a Vic. Uh, pretty blonde hair, nice to everyone, big smile on your face. I'm Mel the businesswoman. You don't fool me for a second. You are as dirty and as devious as I am when it comes down to it. You see what you want and you take it. Well, at least I've got a conscience. Yeah, you've got a conscience, all right. You know why? Because you like to be liked. Well, that's not you. That's your old man whispering in your ear hole. Or your brother rattling on about the Bible. You ain't them, darling, and you never will be. Then what am I? My girl. And you got what it takes to make me happy. I can't trust you. You look me in the eye, you tell me you don't love me. If you don't want to come, fine. But don't tell me none of what you said isn't true. I know you too well, darling. And I love you exactly the way you are. The question is, do you feel the same way about me? Do you? I can't just let you walk away from me. I'm so pathetic, I can't believe I'm falling for this. Is he gonna come? I need to talk to Lisa. I asked you a question. Is he gonna come? Yeah. I told you we'd get back in and all. Yeah, well, I didn't doubt it for a second, did I, eh? You got a bit of colour in your cheeks there, Doc? Oh, Doc is a lovely place. Very bracing. Nice hotel. Oh, top notch, yeah, top notch. But the bed, was that comfy? The old mattress, you know, did have a bit of firmness, a bit of support. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Where's your lovely wife gone, then? Oh, she's out the back doing the strip. Why, well, you want to go and have a look? There's no need to be unpleasant. Yeah, well, I'm going out now. Get your money. I'll meet you back here at five o'clock. We're coming with you. Oh, hang on a minute. We had a deal, all right? Now I'm sticking to my side of it. You should stick to yours. We're coming. Well, you ain't going to get a penny, then. What's the matter? I'm not sure you can get it? Of course I can get it. Just on the new monkeys breathing down my neck, messing it up for me, that's all. I'll be back here later with a nice big fat wad of cash for you, all right? You think I'm going to trust you? Oh, Graham, what do you think I'm going to do? I do a runner. I own a house, a flat, a club. I'm in the middle of my anniversary party. And you stay here and you get off my back. Nice that you two, you've upset my missus. We're only Josh, you know. Come on, mate, the old pistol's still firing, is it? <laughs> I'll get the car, you deal with police, all okay. right? Okay. <laughs> well, that ain't my old mate Phil Mitchell. What, you're not joining us? I'm busy. It's in a great party, you know, everyone's there. Jamie, Gary, Billy, Sam. <laughs> it's as if the old well shot. So you keep saying, it's a promise. Beppe. Yeah, it's me. You got it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Steve. No problem, all right? Don't come to the club. I'll meet you at the wreck in Blake Street in ten minutes. Hey, and don't forget the money. So you've done it then? What? Raise a dosh for the club. No, I'm three grand down. The chance of a lifetime is going straight down the toilet. <laughs> Look, I'll give you two. What? I'll give you two grand. 
You give me a cut of the club plus me old job back. You're all joking. I've got the money in the house. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. Right, you ready? I've got the car outside. Lisa? I can't. Mark, tell her it's OK. It's up to Lisa. This is so unfair. Look, I know this is hard, all right, but we've got to go. You know, I've got a lot of stuff to sort out. We've got to be at the airport in an hour. Look at you, so keen to help. Yeah, well, Lisa's a mate. Really? Got nothing to do with Phil. It's got everything to do with Phil. Now, we're going, all right? You want to come, then great. You want to stay here, and watch your little girl grow up to be a Mitchell, then that's up to you. He's right, Lisa. Just go. Mark! Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, I'll, I'll get him. <laughs> I can't do this, Mark. I don't want any big goodbye. Just go. Where are you going? Mark! Just keep her quiet, will you? Mark! Stop it. <laughs> Where's Mark gone? Oh, he's gone. I can't do this, I can't! I'm not even ready, I've got no stuff, no stuff on the wheels, no wipes, no navvies, I'm not ready at all! It's okay! It's not okay! Okay, jump in! She can't look after uh, Louise like this! Darling, we're in a hurry! Uh, she's in a step! It's okay, can't. okay, just put Louise in the car uh, for me, alright? <laughs> Come on, look, I'm gonna go and pick Sorry. up some money, alright? Take Lisa and get whatever she needs, just keep her calm, you okay. understand me? Yeah. I'm going to meet you in front of the church in High Street in 15 minutes, do you understand okay. me? Okay, you hear that? Lee should come with me, darling. It's going to be all right. No! Oh come on, I go. I go. <laughs> Bartender, give me a drink. It's all right, Lisa. No, don't go down Bridge Street. Go out by Victoria Road and then down to the church on the high street. Come on, darling, it's going to be all right. What about Louise? We'll see her when we get there. Stop the car a minute. Where are you going? I won't be one minute. I've forgotten something. Now, just stay here, all right? One minute. There we go. On the house. I don't want your charity. So what do you want? A drink. And that's why you come here, is it? Well, let's just say I've missed you. I wanted to see your face. Now listen, I'm trying here. I'm trying very hard. But you can only push me so far. Is that a threat? Yeah. Yeah, it's a threat. Now I'm gonna get Louise, whatever you do, whatever you say, or whatever you think, because she's my flesh and blood, and I ain't gonna let her go. You've got no idea. About what? Forget it. Now come on, come on, let's hear it. What about? You've already lost Phil and you don't even know it. What are you talking about? Gotta go and see you. Wait, come here. Get off! Ignore him, he's had a dream. Now, what's going on? Where's Lisa? Where's Louise? She's gone. Mark. They've all gone. Who's gone? Don't say another thing, please. I bet Steve's laughing at you right now. <laughs> You're too late! What are you doing here? I'm an investor. A minor investor, very minor. Here's the money. You want to count it? No, it's all right. I'll trust you. Besides, I ain't got time. Oh, where are you going? We go back to the club, toast the deal. I can't. I've got to go to Jimmy Diamond, spend some of your dosh. Oh, and uh, you let me know when a wedding is, eh? I'll send you a present. Where is she? I don't know. Where have you taken her? Where have you taken her? I told you I haven't got a clue. Now you want more. Let's just keep lying. Do you understand? Now you're not, not taking my daughter away from me. Do you understand that? Do you understand? Now where is she? I said, where is she? She's an eat already. You're lying. No, she's there with Lisa. I'm going to meet them there. Stay in the cab! 
Where is Steve? I don't know, I haven't seen him yet. I'm sorry, I'm not going to have my field. I'm not going to have my field. It's me. Now I know what you're doing, alright? If I will do anything, I will pay anything. Just bring her back. Bring who back? Louise! Oh no, 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 I can't do that, Phil. No, she's coming on a little holiday with me. No, I'll pay you anything, I'll pay you whatever you want. I'll pay you if 50 grand, 100 grand, whatever you want. Just bring her back, bring her back now. No. Nope. Didn't you hear me the first time? Now I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've ever done. Steve. Steve, this is my daughter to all man. I haven't got anything else. <laughs> well, you don't have to do this. You could be bigger than this. Now I'll give you anything, I swear. I swear to you on my daughter's life. I'll do anything you want. Just, just bring her back. You say please. Come on! You can do better than that! You're breaking up on me, Phil! I said, please! Goodbye, Phil. Hey, Phil! You heard the latest? I have just become the new owner of E20. Billy, you own less than 1%. Yeah, but still. What are you doing with E20? They're just there. What, Steve? Look at Well, did he have Lisa or, or Louise with him? What? No. Well, where is he? I don't know, mate. Billy! Where is he? He's got a Jimmy Diamond. Three and a half thousand, huh? Right. Oh, I just robbed the bank. Look, these earrings, they real diamonds or what? Oh, yes, classic line, sir. Yeah, well, just give me one of them. They come in a pair. Okay, give me both of them, right? Four thousand pounds, sir. Yeah, don't bother wrapping it. Seven and a half thousand altogether. But you keep the change, eh? Don't you want a receipt? No, no point. I might be here.
Bill! 